the first thing that really kindled my ambition to do anything like what I'm doing now is when I, when I was 13 and I became fascinated by uh, Bob Dylan. Um, I'd been listening to kind of more kind of pop type music and then I came across Bob Dylan and um, I was, you know, because of my age, I was relatively late coming to him. Um, but then I went back over his catalogue. Um, and that's when I became fascinated by words. And, uh, and I discovered other great uh, singer-songwriters of that era, Leonard Cohen, Joni Mitchell, uh, some others. But these were very important people for me because of this fascinating relationship between what seemed to be a very literary language and the music form and the way they performed it. And uh, so that's what I wanted to be. It seemed, it seemed to be the art form that, that I, I aspire to. And I, I did spend some time playing in folk clubs and uh, to very small audiences. And I, I've act, I actually did a whole thing of ha carrying around demonstra you know, demo tapes to recording companies and, and uh, making appointments with A&R men. I, I did that whole thing. But uh, quite rightly, I got nowhere.